this is going to be a little commentary video of today's dive because it was epic so stay tuned watch your shit you hey guys yeah i won't do too much talking i'll just kind of try to walk you through it a little bit um yeah, it was a pretty epic dive. We just started off just going off the beach, taking a couple mates out from up the coast. They've never really done any diving. It was kind of their second time or something. So yeah, I wasn't really expecting to get much. I was just kind of taking them out for a dive and um, yeah, just at one of the local spots and um, was not expecting what was to come, <laughs> that's for sure. As we made our way out to the reef, we were just greeted by the most pristine conditions. The viz was like 50 metres plus, it was crazy. And the water, the water was so warm, everything was just perfect. This is where the first kingfish started, uh, the first school came in. You can just hear me mate up here in the audio just yelling out to me going kingies, kingies and didn't know what he was saying but then. Hi. Yeah, this big school just came through. I shot that one, he was kind of, he was one of the bigger ones, he wasn't, I don't think he was the biggest, but yeah, he was kind of the one coming in the closest, I didn't want to, you know, risk losing the school, but yeah, the fight was on. this time and I started tripping out because my the rigging on my spear gun uh, like broke a couple of weeks beforehand and I just rigged it back up real bodgerly with some yeah really shitty crimps and stuff and I was just tripping out the whole time I was like do not slip do not slip that's all I was get a shot in it yeah trying to yell at me mate there to get another shot in it because <laughs> I was tripping out to see here this massive school of salmon that came in we were like surrounded massive wall of salmon like thousands and got so intense for a bit and we were like sweating so hectic
difficult. I'd leave here if I could. So after fighting it for about five minutes, me mate finally got his other mate's gun, and um, yeah, he finally could try to get a shot in it for me. As you can tell, I was pretty stressed that he was just going to take a random shot at it. Then he takes probably the best shot we could. Straight through the spine, instantly, pretty much stoned out. And I'll just drop it. Gets a bit graphic here, so if you have a weak stomach, I suggest skipping forward a couple seconds. shaft was bent to the ship house and we'd only been diving for about 10 minutes so I knew we weren't going in after that fish so yeah I was just struggling for a couple minutes trying to bend it back out with me knee. Fish all tied up and stuff to the float. Started having a bit of a look around for some craze. The water was really warm, so my hopes weren't high, but just thought it'd be good to add a few craze to the menu for that night. bit pretty raw you can see I'm swimming down got the torch in your left hand until I spot the school kingfish come back through you can see the torch is gone 
probably just drop the torch and stone a kingfish, probably about the same size as that last one, a bit smaller. I actually thought the kingfish was a lot smaller than the last one because of how quick I got him up to me and the fight was over, but it was just a really good shot. He wasn't much smaller than the last one. The stoke was real, that's for sure. Gets a bit graphic here again for the people that can't handle it. Back at home after one of the most hectic one and a half hour dives ever. We were out there for about 10 minutes before we shot that, I shot that first kingy and the bags loaded. And then about 20 minutes later, the school came back around, grabbed another one, straight in, laughing. That's how I can do it, boy. Phew. <laughs> Today it was 16.8 gutted kilograms, so it's pretty solid. Um, what's going on with this body? Yeah. That's about on the end of it there. To the tail. Before that. Thirteen, thirteen, twenty, thirteen, fifteen, one point three meters. Pretty solid fish. And we're gonna we're gonna fill that one up, and the other one we're gonna just cut some steaks out of it. So, as you can probably tell. I'm not um I don't catch kingfish every day and I'm not the most familiar with it but I think it should be pretty 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 the same as any other fish so we'll get into it.
GoPro is overheating a bit, so it's got a little banana leaf. Just put it over it like that. Should stop a bit of it. There's one solid kingfish fillet. That is a lot of meat. This GoPro is hating the sun. So bright. So hot. Anyway, we're gonna get into this next fillet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do steaks for the other half of the other one and cry back it all up. Hopefully this GoPro will be able to handle it.
kill him? Kill him by hand. <sighs> Just been out to a trailer. Grab that little beast. Cut the, cut the backbone for these steaks because she's solid. So we'll see how we go for today. So we're going to try to preserve the head.
the back a bit later. So what's happened is we've run out of this good stuff and had to go in town to get more. And then, yeah, they didn't really have any, so I had to buy a new machine to get one roll, finish cry back and all this stuff. So, yeah, we won't waste any time, we'll get straight back into it. There you go, bloody hell, fuck. Quarter to nine, just finished everything. Oh, shit. That is a crazy one. That is the food product. That is like 15 kilos of food fish. Maybe. No, not that much actually. Probably 10. But still, so much. So much filleting, so much cryovacking. Had to go to town to get more bags. And anyway, she's all done now. Should be good feed. Should be good feed. Tomorrow morning, go drop off to the rounds, drop off to family and friends and yeah it's New Year's Eve tomorrow so I'll have a good feed on New Year's Eve so I, for the next probably two months <laughs> but yeah anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoyed the vid pretty long one I think haven't made it yet but I'm sure it will be all the fucking shit anyway I'll leave it to it and go on and have some dinner you!